Jumbo Jumbo, my name is Joseph Kingori, uh, simply known as Joe, and I've been working for G Adventure here in Kenya for the last uh, six years as a CEO. CEO is more or less like a tour leader whereby we take people on safaris uh, to see what the country has to offer in terms of flora and fauna. I'm not so sure if you guys have been to Kenya before, uh, if it's or maybe Africa in general, uh, but you can always let me know about it down here. Feel free to chat with me and uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, for today, I want to talk more about Planetera. So Planetera is G Adventure non-profit partner, whereby we work around the world to make sure the local people, including the women, get to benefit from the whole industry tourism industry and we have got uh, eight five projects in over 50 in over 50 uh, different uh, countries and uh, right now I'm at one of our projects we call it uh, uh, cafe Ubuntu and it's one of our G for good uh, uh, projects whereby all our G adventure travelers here in Kenya who visit the country usually come here to have lunch to have lunch as well as visit uh, the factory uh, so the project itself is more or less like a seaweed um, cooperative that focuses on training and hiring marginalized women around the area and uh, also they've been able to uh, get a school for the special needs uh, so as the women are working they will the kids can be able to go to school and everybody gets uh, to benefit um, uh, they have got the social businesses, the, the Cafe Ubuntu, and also the Ubuntu Maid that serves uh, more into the school. And all these proceeds go to the school. So together with me, uh, we have the executive director of the company. His name is Jeremiah, and he's the one who's going to tell me, tell, tell you guys more about the whole Ubuntu uh, business, how it all started and all that. Uh, but for how it started, Actually, I'm one of the lucky guys who were able to come here first. Uh, I was with one of my travelers who requested if we could be able to make a stop here uh, because uh, she knew one of the directors, his name is Zayn, and we made a quick stop here uh, whereby the guy told us about what he's trying to do and how he's trying to support the local community. Uh, personally, I was impressed uh, with the whole thing, so I went back to the office uh, she also went back to uh, to Canada, Toronto, because she has done other G Adventures trip before, and all of them have got the Planetera projects, and uh, so she had an idea like whatever that this guy is trying to do here to help here, G Adventures is also trying to do this same same thing uh, in in other countries. Uh, so she visited the Planetera, and uh, as they say, the rest is history. So for the last four five years, we have been coming here. And all our guests have been coming here to have lunch here as well as visit the factory and uh, for now I want to introduce the director and he's gonna tell us more about the history the history about this place so Jeremiah yes sir yes sir Jeremiah is my name Jeremiah Kuria I'm the executive director of Ubuntu and uh, very excited to be able to share with you about Ubuntu and uh, Ubuntu is an African philosophy that uh, means I am because we are. That is the interconnectedness of humanity. And uh, there is no way you can reach your potential without the other person. And so we uplift one another so that we can be able to live in this world. And uh, Ubuntu started way back in uh, 2000 when uh, me and Zane met. And uh, we started just with friendship. And then uh, we decided we needed to do something together. We visited people's homes and realized that there were so much needs. And then finally we were approached by the community of the disabled uh, persons. And they said, hey, how about uh, you start a center where we can be able to help our children uh, so that they can be able to come together and encourage one another. And when we started that, uh, a year later, the mothers requested to be able to come in and also to uh learn to do some few things and that is when uh, we started training them how to do sewing and uh, for the first two years we didn't make anything that uh, uh, you can be able to sell to anybody but after that we were able to train them very well and now they make very high-end products and i know 
the guests from G Adventures have been experiencing all the good things that have been happening here. And we have been very, very thankful to uh, G Adventures for their support. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we continue to make uh, great products. And uh, due to COVID-19, lots of things uh, had to stop. And so our children with special needs are at home, uh, so they are not able to come, but we are still giving them services, providing food for their families twice a month, and also giving them water, everything that we can be able to do. But with me is uh, Ruby, who uh, when the company realized that uh, things are not working as they should, uh, we got into uh, mask making so that we can be able to just change how we do things. And she has been doing this for the company, and she is going to tell us uh, how this has gone and uh, continue to, uh, to explain to us. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we have been making masks for Africa and we have been making different patterns. The reason as to why we, we wanted to do this project is to help through this COVID-19. And we have um, Ubuntu has been employing other people, like those people who are not having jobs, they have been joining uh, Ubuntu. And through that, we have been able to make close to 70,000 uh, of masks. And currently we are making the, this beautiful mask. We have like six patterns that are selling uh, even on our website, ubuntu.life. And um, some of these masks that we have been working with, I have one with me, I have Miriam here, who is one of the moms who are making this uh, beautiful mask and uh, she is you know, showing us the process of making that and I wanted to show you the final product, that's what she is doing here and this is the final product, so it's pretty cool, it's easy to use, so easy, you can tie it like really quick and yeah, so, that's so, how you're able to do it. So Ruby, uh, I just wanted to, to ask uh, around how many people, how many how many people do you have in the factory? Uh, how many people do you employ in the factory? Well, currently in this factory, we have about 140 who are working here. But we have been uh, outsourcing other people to make the mask because like making over 70 or over 60,000 of masks is quite a huge task. And so we have been outsourcing other people. Basically, we have been working with about 450 people to be able to get this, most of which, like, they are off or we have been exporting them. And so I would say between 450 to 500 people we have been working through this process of mask making. Yeah, so I know right now you are, you are making the mask, but initially uh, I know you guys were making other, other products yeah. which you sell uh, locally and internationally. Maybe you can tell us more about it. Yeah, we still continue to make other uh, products. We have been making bracelets, like different pattern of uh, bracelets. We have been making uh, travel tots, like bags. We have been making shoes. Uh, we have been making different shoes, like similar to what I have here. I can do a quick shoe. We have different different uh, type of shoes. This is for leather. We have other for canvas, and so we have all different different kind of shoes. And so, like, and as well as bags, we have all different kind of bags. So we have different products that we have been making the coffee sleeves and all that. Like, yeah, please visit our website. You'll see very many products we have at Ubuntu Online. So maybe to 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 repeat uh, for those guys who are watching us, uh, what what is the website? Ubuntu say Ubuntu dot life. Yeah, Ubuntu.life is our website. That's where you'll get all our products that we are selling. And every product you see there, they are all made here. Yes, by this beautiful Wow. <laughs> maybe we can have a, a minute to, to talk to her and maybe she can tell us more about her, herself. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Miriam and I've been a tailor in Ubuntu for the last eight years. I've really been empowered for, the, for, that, for that time. Okay, I've been empowered for that for those eight years in so many ways because uh, uh, the products that I make in, in Ubuntu, I never knew how to make them. But for now, I can make them very perfectly. And when the G, -Advent, uh, G Adventures visitors comes in, they are happy of our products and I feel good because I'm the one who makes those products. So I feel good because of the empowerment. I'm also empowered because I'm the technician. I maintain the machines here in the factory. So I can say Ubuntu, Ubuntu has really empowered me very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's very good. Yeah. So uh, 
Uh, anything else you you want to, to, to tell us uh, in terms of how how the whole thing has supported you or anything else you wanna you wanna add to? Yeah, it has really uh, supported me in so many ways because uh, when I was coming in, I was an IDP and I had no way forward. So when I came here, I started getting my salary monthly. So I was able to send my children to school. I was able to set food on the table. So I can see it has re it it is like a mother to me because it has really brought me far for the last eight years. And I am the main breadwinner in my family. Thank you so very much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, we really don't take this for granted. We really appreciate G Adventures and Planetera for the support that we have, you know, we have been getting through you. So please continue coming through Cafe Ubuntu and or Ubuntu in general, and we really appreciate. Thank you so much for your support. Big love. So guys, uh, uh, to cap it all, uh, every time we go on safari, every time we go on safari. Uh, we always ask our clients, how was the trip? Uh, did you enjoy the animals you saw? Did you enjoy the whole scenery? And most of them will tell you, uh, they had a special special kind of a feeling when they visited uh, the Ubuntu uh, project. Uh, because for them there, they get a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the ladies there. It's not, it's not all about being touristic. It's all about the animals or it's, a, it's what is on the ground, the reality on the ground. And they were happy with the empowering that is happening. Uh, you know, G Adventure is all about changing people's lives uh, to a more positive, to have a positive impact in the society. And for us, it's not about uh, profit making or you know that. It's all about trying to support everybody around us. And uh, they really appreciate uh, the little that they give. Because when they come here for lunch, uh, they usually take a short visit to the factory whereby they have a one-on-one -on -one talk with the ladies they get to ask questions and interact with them that time we leave it to them let them talk we don't get involved let them talk and then at the end of it all uh, they feel yeah they've been to kenya they know what's happening on the ground and uh, actually if you want to support or if you want to donate to one of the projects uh, you can go to planetary.org and uh, whatever you donate, G Adventures will always be ready to support the rest of them. Uh, all I can say is that for now, uh, there is no us without you guys, and our world deserves more of you. And I hope once the whole COVID Corona thing is done, you will be visiting us soon and we'll be ready to meet the wonderful women we have in the project. Thank you very much, Asante Sana.